before we do anything. There is a unique car on this level. And we'll talk about it's one of these three. It's the Mercury Custom. This is the best place to get it. Except, I don't care about cars right now. We'll do a whole video on that. And I'm going to hate my life about that. I need to do that. Hold on. McMahon. Hey. Albinado is an apartment 304. But, like I said, we'll do cars another time. And it should be a fun time. Alright, all the way up we go. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Or take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. Oh, you guys are dumb. I got a hundred pounds of wine. Damn, they got some decent shots in there. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Uh, he doesn't like that one. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! Do you think I could kill my own wife? Yes. You get the whole place of going over and talk to the neighbors. All right, so and Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. Yeah. Just picked fruit market. That's weird. Is that a bloody? This will take some explaining. It's very wet. That's not good. Finbar's Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movement. He's got no alibi. In this coat. El Dorado stick. Mm. The El Dorado must be a family favorite. All right, let's go talk to all these neighbors. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I work nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. Oh, that was quite useful. They all... Let's go at 303. No good. Nobody good. here. Sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> uh, LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. Nothing. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here, and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss... Aranda. 
I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. Mm, that's not good. I kept thinking you were gonna call that one a nosy old hag too, Phil. Well executed restraint. Uh. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. <laughs> Let's get out of here. So the goal is let's go to the El Dorado because there's got to be something there. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? Car 11 K. Car 11 K. Come in. Oh, that's us. Um. <gasps> The hired help at the El Dorado might have seen the broad the night she died. Maybe the regulars, too. We should check it out. Car 11 K, Car 11 King, come in. KGPL, 11 King, over. 11 K, Captain Donnelly and Detective Sergeant Finnis Brown urgently request your presence at Central. A new letter has been found. 11 K, en route. Well, we'll go to. I guess we're going to the Central instead. Somehow I was like, you know what? They're going to let me do the other way. The captain is waiting for you downstairs with Anchor. I think we bust in there and find the goddamn thing. Yeah, let's find it. Oh, gosh. We, uh, I don't know if we've ever had to He ran the light on Olympic, and we finally collared him on Temple. Good job. Can't never find out. All right, there we go. I was like, uh, I don't remember ever going downstairs ever. Mouthpiece tour stripped off me at the grand jury. All right, so this should be a fun time here. See what tank, right, tank, tank, or technical services want. Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. His information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours, regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and type from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Have changed my mind. You would not give clue. Huh. Interesting. Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. So what's the case? That's why we called you in. You think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. Yeah. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what does it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. <laughs> well, I got a feeling we're going to deal with the Black Dahlia a little bit longer than just a few more times. You're hurting me. Stakeout down on second later tonight. Good job. Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? 
I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. Doubt. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. You know, that's what I kind of believe, except... You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. Her brother will tell you I was at home. You know, I'm really curious about what the brother's alibi was. But it was just Anne Hill. We have a witness who confirms that you were arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad. But it's not true. We argued, all right? But she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car, it was a brown Ford Coupe. Okay, that could be useful. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. Were you? I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far, and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. Just because you wouldn't accept it doesn't mean... The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. And she ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size eight. Oh, crap. What tempest is that me? Oh, crap. Everything's been eight. When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. You know what? I'm going to believe you. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. Didn't like the message. Wait, what? She kept it locked up in that box of hers. What box? We've never seen this box. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Mm, looking at your eyes, you're doing a really good job, but that just is too far-fetched for me. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something, or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, the leader. He said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. What? But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. You got a stakeout down on second later tonight. Thank you. I like hearing about your stakeout. Okay, so... Can you drive to this one? This is very interesting. So where exactly are we going? So, I'm wondering if the bar really isn't the problem I'm worried about. It's more about the market. Side. You don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. It's a sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times, Cole. Why don't you want to see a connection here? Because there are perfectly good real-life suspects for every one of these murders. We don't need to go looking for the monster under the bed. I think we do. I think we need to look for the monster. It's under our bed. I don't think we're anywhere close solving this yet. Maybe that creepy person that he said? What can I get you? LAPD. 
Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar, how can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah, me and a temp guy from the agency. Wait. We have a woman in here last night, 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily. We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. <laughs> do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. All right. I'm not going to say anything, but he did, I think... Sam has taken we me found out who uh, is behind everything. Divorce papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so anything but jewelry? Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Uh, you're not looking too good, buddy. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She went to the cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. Oh, gosh. She seemed reluctant. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. I believe that. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. All right, so... Actually, I'm not going to say anything about what you want to tip. Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal. Just making deliveries. From where? Just pick Fruit Market across hey, the street. Hey, we need you Fruit anyway. Market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexicans love a little slice with the tequila. We found a crate a lot like the ones you're wheeling there, except it was filled with booze. You know anything about that? What? No, we deliver all over the place, officer. No tell them where the boxes end up. Excuse me, I have to get on with this. Fine, thanks. Just picked fruit market. That's where Antonia went to call for a cab last night. That's very interesting. Let's go there next. Say, honey, what time do you get off? Oh. Well? Dude, you always hit me. I mean, granted, I just jaywalk so freaking hard, but we have just pick fruit right over here. So while we're here, I feel like this is the play. The handbag was left just up there, overlooking the market. Could have come here from the start and saved ourselves a day's legwork. Well, we didn't know we needed to go here yet. Sir, I'm the... Wait, you look familiar. Hey, from the bar, right? What brings you here? 
LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night, 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? Well, she, she, got, she got the keys. She was bed. wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Come on now. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. Well, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. Kel's cornbread? The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. Straight face me. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. And she seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. All right. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Oh. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. Wow. Oh, freak. Just the odd bottle? No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. Is that a scalpel? And a tire on? Why cut someone who is already dead? It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. They must have seen it during the war. There's the lockbox. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. Uh, I believe it was 253? Charm bracelet. Holy cow. So he's the guy. Las Vegas. Oh, I hate this fruit stall punk gets about 10 seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clem! Are you serious? God damn it, get after him, Cole! I'll try to shoot out his tires. But Wish me luck. I'm more interested about the brown Ford Coupe. We should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. But Strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. Or maybe Phelps is right. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Wishing you luck. You just gotta hit him. Hit him. Clean this asshole off the road.
You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. Why is this louder? Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fee in the personal visit myself and remind them that crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. <laughs> That's all right, Kevin. Oh. That's like a good time. Give me that five stars. Nothing missed. Ten damage. That's nothing. That's nothing. All right. So, guys, next time on LA Noir, let's see if these copycats are actually copycats and if things go in common.